So a few days ago I made a video on how to install Mac OS Monterey on your PC if your PC had the horsepower to run it. By the way, you can check it out right up there if you're curious about that. But if your PC can't run or you don't want to run Mac OS on your PC but you want to make your PC look like Mac OS, you come to the right spot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a few apps that will change how Windows 11 looks and feels without taking up a lot of system resources. So without further ado, let me show you how. Right guys, so to get started converting your Windows 11 UI to Mac OS like stuff, we will need four different files. So the first one, we'll start with the dock that will replace this bottom part of Windows. To download that, there is a GitHub link in the description below. When you open it, it says download on Steam. Now, if you want to support the developer, and I highly recommend doing so, you should definitely go and buy it. It's only $3 or something. But if you don't want to go through the hassle of buying without trying, if you want to give it a go before you buy, follow along this guide. So you jump onto the second link in the description below, which will take you to this page, which is a Wayback Machine link that will take you back in time when this used to be open source and free. Then you can download the mydocfinder.zip, click on it. Here we go, we're downloading the file. Give it a bit of time because the server is a bit slow. It's gonna take a while. While it downloads, we'll jump on and download the other things that we will need. We'll jump into the cursors. You know, this is the default Windows cursor. We want the beach ball, you know, for the loading screen. To do that, we just go to this link, which is the third link in the description below. Just click on releases or the latest release right here and click on source code.zip and then that will download fairly quickly. And we can install that by right click, extract and extract. Here there's a few things you can do. So you can get the Sierra or newer one or El Capitan and before. Depending on what you choose, I'm going for the newer one. Whether you want to drop shadow on the mouse or not, let's go with shadow. Normal, large, extra large. Let's go large and then just scroll down to see this install link. Just right click, show more options, click on install, then click on open and boosh key. You'll see this screen pop up, click on schemes, Mac OS cursors, large with shadow, newer, click on this, apply, current scheme name you select is already in use. There we go, we got El Capitan mouse. If I minimize this, if I open something, you can see the beach ball momentarily appears because my PC is just too fast. No beach balls, but it will come if your PC is slow enough. So <laughs> Next up, we'll install some dynamic wallpapers because, you know, this is boring. So we'll just go to the fourth link in the description, Win Dynamic Desktop. Same process, click on the latest release, not the ARM64, X64 setup, the one that says here, 503. Might be newer when you download this, depending on when you download. We're downloading. You can click on it, so it will open as soon as it is downloaded. Meanwhile, it downloads. You can also check out this cool wallpaper that is a combination of a Mac OS Monterey default wallpaper and Windows 11 logo. If you want that, I have left the fifth link in the description for you to download. Click on download button, log in with your account. It's free to create and download, so you can do that. Win Dynamic Desktop, this file isn't commonly downloaded. Make sure you trust this file. Okay, I keep. Click on show more, keep anyway. If you get the same message, just follow the same steps and click on Win Dynamic Desktop. It opened twice. I'm going to close one instant. Install for me only. Press OK. Accept the agreement. Next, next, next. Install. This will install dynamic wallpaper themes on our PC, which is pretty cool. You'll see very shortly. Press OK. After selecting your language, you can use location to determine sunset sunset times. I'm going to enter Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, <laughs> it works. All right. So these are dynamic themes. You know, daytime will be different. You can see this is day, this is nighttime, and it will transition between them. You can choose whichever theme you want. I'm going to go with the cliffs here. Apply. And because it's 4 a.m. at Bermuda Triangle, it's nighttime, but just hit apply and it will download and apply the theme as soon as its download finishes. There you go. The theme has been applied. You can close out of that. And there you go. This will change based on the time of day. You can hide these icons by pressing view, show desktop icons, and you're good to go. All clear. Meanwhile, <laughs> we're still waiting on that file to finish downloading. So I'll be right back once it's done. 
By the way, if you're not into the dynamic wallpaper for the download to be complete, so I just downloaded the Windows Monterey wallpaper so I can just set it as desktop background. And boom, I think the resolution on that file is pretty high. So you can definitely set it even on a 4K monitor. Yeah, that's 4000 by 2250, very high res photo. All right guys, the download has completed. You can see there's the zip file here. Click on show in folder, right click the file, extract all. And here's where the fun part comes. Go to browse, go to this PC, go to your C drive, create a new folder called Mac OS, and then extract it here. Click on extract. Now we're already at the place. Now we just click on my dock. Now double click on dock 64. Windows will warn you that the app is not verified. Click on more info, click run anyway. And boom, we have a dock here. Click on run anyway, dock mode. I know it looks cool, but if you notice, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff here that's in Chinese up here, everything. So you just right click in the center of the dock, select the bottom last option, scroll to the bottom, and then select the language as English. Press OK, and you'll see that some stuff is still in Chinese. To fix that, you just right click it again, click on end the program, and they'll close out the dock. Open the folder again where we extracted the dock, in my case it's macOS my dock. Double click dock 64, and boom, everything is in English, Finder, Apple logo about this PC. All of these settings will link to Windows settings equivalent, which is pretty cool, works great. And you can see you can launch apps, animations, pretty cool. Boom, look at that. And you can also hide the taskbar. Now you can pin your favorite apps here, whatever you need. So you can go to launch pad. You can drag a few EXE files here and that will create a launch pad like interface that is same as Mac OS. Or you can pin the app directly here. So let's try something. Internet Explorer. Let's pin that, drag and drop. There we go. Now we can launch Internet Explorer from the dock. Boom, who saw this one coming? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. You can customize the dock if you want from here. Preferences, all of these settings, fairly obvious. If you have multiple monitors, you can select the screen where to display the dock. Very easy. That's pretty much it. And there you have it guys. That's how you make your Windows PC look like Mac OS without running any virtualization software and taking up a lot of system resources. If you really like the app, I highly recommend that you support the developer. I left a link to his store app in the description down below. You can go to Steam and download it. It's only $3 or something. Very cheap, very worth it. And smash that like button if this video helped you. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. You can check out my other content just up here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!